So let's say a Facebook ad costs one cent each time the ad is shown to a user. So one cent per impression. And the expected number of impressions is a thousand per day. And for those exposed to the ad, 1% clicks through. And for those who click through, 2% actually purchase something at your website. And then on average, a purchase creates a thousand in revenue and generates $20 in profit. So there are 30 days a month. And the question is, what is the average monthly ROI of showing the ad on Facebook? In this video, we demonstrate how to calculate the return on investment or ROI of a pay per impression based uh, ad, PBM advertising ROI. Here's the information provided. So the cost per impression of the ad is one cent and the number of impressions per day is 1,000. And the click-through rate is 1%. So out of that 1,000 impressions, 1% 1 of them click through. And uh, the conversion rate of click-through. So for the people who click through, the conversion from click-through to sales is 2%. And the average profit per sale is $20. And there are 30 days per month. So to calculate the ROI, uh, we're going to first calculate the conversions per month. That is, how many conversions should we expect? Here we have the number of impression per day is 1,000. And out of this 1,000 times, the click-through rate is 1%. So 1% of that 1,000 click-through. And out of this, again, times, 2% of these are converted to sales. So it's cell B2 times B3 times B4. So 1,000 times 1% and then times 2%. And then there are 30 days per month, so times 30. So that gives us the expected number of conversions per month. Press Enter. So it's 6. And then the profit that we get is the average profit per sale is $20 times the conversions per month. So that gives us the profit per month, $120. And the costs of these advertising is equal to the cost per impression times the number of impressions per day, and then times the number of days per month, and then enter. So that's $300. The advertising ROI is equal to, remember, is the profit minus the costs divided by the costs. So equals to parenthesis 120 minus 300, close the parenthesis, divided by the costs. So that gives us the ROI. And then press Enter. So it's minus 0.6. So the ROI here is actually a negative 60%. Obviously, the return on investment can be positive or negative. What this negative ROI means is basically the advertising actually costs more than the profit that these advertisements bring in. That is, we really need to improve this ROI in order to make this work. And as we discussed in the lecture, there are various things that can be done to improve the ROI if the click-through rate gets higher, if we can convert more to sales, if we can make more money per sale, or if the advertising costs less. Let me just give you a quick example. If the cost per impression is not one cent, 
let's say if it's half a cent, 0.05 per impression, and then press enter, you can see instantly the ROI improved from minus 60% to minus 20%. 0.01, that's the current advertising cost, minus 60% ROI. That concludes this video.